Hey Pretty Girl Club, I have a special one today for you guys. I'm going to share with you guys 15 strategies to make a man obsessed with you. First, first and foremost, make sure when you are you applying these strategies that you are dealing with a man who's mature and who knows how to be responsible and how to make you happy. Don't just do this trick on anybody. Make sure you vet that man. Make sure he's a good guy all around the board because, you know, you don't want to create a, a stalker later on down the line if you realize you don't like him anymore and he likes you now. So make sure this guy is that guy. You feel me? So how do you make a man fall head over heels for you? So strategy number one is to use psychological triggers. So when make what makes a guy gravitate towards a woman, to what makes him think about her and makes him want to be with her all the time. These are some of the things you should consider. He has to find you undeniably attractive. So this refers to your physical attractiveness, your personality the way you handle yourself around him and others in situations, and in general, just your vibe. Um, bringing him exciting new and different experiences. So when you are bringing, when you bring fun and novel experiences into a dating relationship, he'll look forward to spending time with you, always wondering what might be next. So spontaneous, you know, be spontaneous almost. Be intriguing yet real. Men keep a keen interest in a woman who is somewhat mysterious and unpredictable, along with being her normal real life nice person as well. And I'm good at doing this as a Pisces. If I find somebody attractive, I try to stay as mysterious as possible. Let them know as less. Don't let them know too much about you. You know what I'm saying? Have them wondering. You know, because you already have that aura, but you kind of have to play. We'll get into that. So <laughs> it's good to have a certain level of mysteriousness about yourself. Have him wondering, you know, when you're not around him, what you're doing, what you're not doing, and all of that stuff. You'll have him constantly wondering about you. Be sporadic. Always have him guessing. You know what I mean. So strategy number two would be to obsess over yourself with extreme confidence. He knows you're hot and you got to let him know that you know this. Now, that doesn't mean go acting self-centered or anything like that. But, you know, have confidence about yourself. Walk with your head high. You know what I'm saying? Just walk like you own the, your stuff, that you own the room you're in. When you are obsessed with yourself, you tell the world you are an amazing person and only you can hold yourself back. Let him see you in this light. And it practically guarantees to make him obsessed with you almost that you're comfortable in your own skin. Number three is be playful. There's way too much seriousness in life. So the best way to keep a spark alive is to keep things fun. You know what I'm saying? He'll love to see your playful and naughty side as you start playing games with him. Allow him to get sucked into the activities you plan by spending, you know, just be playful. I mean, flirt a little bit, send, you know, sexy text messages or something like that. Um, you can plan a, a spontaneous, you can plan trip. Um, dates, like spontaneous dates and stuff. Go to the amusement park. Go to the beach. You know, probably go camping together or something. Just do something fun on a date. You know, not typical eating out. Do something different. Being playful will have him keep you, keep him wondering, like, what do you have next up your sleeve? You know, he kind of likes it a little bit. So make the dates fun if when you guys do go on dates. Make it the most fun he's ever had with a girl. Be the only woman who gives him this kind of enjoyment. You'll remind him. He'll be reminded of you, you know. He'll always be constantly thinking about you and stuff. 
I've had this happen to me with one guy. Every time he drives past a certain spot, me and him used to like do things at, you know, he's always thinking about, he always says he thinks about me every time he passes by. Just spontaneous, be spontaneous and stuff like that. He'll have, he'll be, you'll be on his mind. Because, you know, you stand out. If he's talking to more, more than one girl, you stand out. Make him feel special is number four. If you want to make a man obsessed with you, you need to give him some, a reason, a, a good reason. Make him feel special where, when you are around him. So you can cook his favorite meal, um, share common interests. Um... Don't be afraid to, you know, sit on his lap and enjoy some physical intimacy. Men love touch. You know what I'm saying? Send some flirty text messages, letting him know how special he is. Above all else, while you are together, give him your undivided attention. There are so many things you can do to make him feel special and so many more ways to make a man fall head over heels in love. Almost. I have had too many men like have big crushes on me after doing things like this and i'll kind of i'll give them my undivided attention and i'll stare at them i'll stare at them in their eyes while they're talking to me my body language is towards them and you know i'm just showing interest in him allow him to be your hero is number five if you want him to be obsessed with you let him be your hero men love to help a feminine vulnerable woman let him help you it's good to be independent as a woman, but you should allow the man to come help you because that's just in him to want to do that. So definitely be a damsel in distress around him. Don't be afraid to ask for help from him because they like to do that. That's just in him as a man. Number six is talk with him. Talk with him about your day, you know your issues, what you're going through, your feelings, anything of that nature. Be vulnerable with him almost. Just be vulnerable around him, you know what I'm saying? Because that hero instinct in him is going to kick in. Number seven, set healthy boundaries. We all know that a relationship needs mutual respect. When you set, set boundaries, you create a safe and loving space for each other based on mutual respect. The guy you are with will see you as a safe person, feel valued by you, and ultimately become more wanting to be with you, <laughs> basically, um, when you respect yourself. Number eight is take things slow. No guy wants a female tornado, so if you want a guy to lose interest, don't come on too strong too fast. Rushing things is a perfect way to get things going in the opposite direction. So, you know, take things slow. It's okay. If it's meant to happen, it will. Do not rush it. Don't push him away with that. Number nine is look your best. Cute clothes. You know, look sexy, dress nice. Make sure you look neat all the time. You know, if you have to work out, you know, tone up a little bit. But make sure you always look your best. Number 10 is enjoy your time apart. You need space. Time apart, heart, like distance makes the heart grow fonder. This is just true. Every solid relationship needs healthy time apart. It gets you, it gets them wondering where you are, what you're doing. You just, you'll be on their, you'll be on their mind. Number 11 is show him your appreciation. Appreciation goes without saying. When he does things for you, no matter how small, compliment him. Appreciate his efforts. You know what I'm saying? Let him know that you care. Show a genuine interest. Number 12, let him be his own man. If you want to make a man obsessed with you, it is important to understand that he is his own person with his own interests. Like most guys, he wants to be able to pursue those interests and set you aside from time to time. If you don't allow him to be his own person and have a life of freedom and time outside of you, his desires for you may go the opposite way. You may find that the relationship starts to become less enjoyable for him. So it's okay not to be together all the time. And of course, it's okay for you to have your own life too. Everyone needs an independent life. So in other words, decentering a man, 
for you. He needs to also descend on you. So when you guys come together, it's you guys miss each other and you guys aren't tired of being around each other all the time because that can be a thing, being around somebody for too long. Number 13 is add some adventure in the bedroom. Spice it up a little bit. Dress in something kinky. Um, ask him about his fantasies. And then try them out. You know, that's the one way to definitely have him obsessed with you. Number 14, make sure you guys laugh together. When you guys go out, tell jokes, laugh, watch funny s movies, shows. Um, having a sense of humor just helps you know keep things fun and you know you he likes that you make him laugh um these are moments that you guys can that it'll stick in his head when you guys are with each other or when he's not with you he'll be thinking about how much you make him smile and laugh and number 15 show him your emotional intelligence can you recognize the feelings of others and identify them are you aware of your own strengths and weaknesses? Do you accept yourself for who you are? Can you leave mistakes in the past? Are you able to control your emotions when things get rough? When you show your man or boyfriend these traits, he sees you as somebody he wants to be with over the long haul. He sees you as the kind of a kind and compassionate person towards others. You can own up to your own mistakes without blaming others. Um, you you know how to control your emotions, basically. So be the kind of girl he wants his family and friends to meet. So these are 15 strategies that you can use to make a man obsessed over you. And make sure the man that you are using some of these tactics and strategies on are worth it. And not going to waste your time. And make sure you vet him pretty good. Get to know him first. You know, and then you can do it because if you do it with somebody and you find out you don't really like him, you're stuck with him. Trust me. I've been there, done that. So let me know if you guys have any questions and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for listening.